Hello, and welcome to the Steve Kalis Show. There is a good chance none of you will ever see or hear this episode. <laughs> like so many before. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to record it anyway, because we're professionals. So, joining me round the table is Kevin Harris. Kevin, it's good to see you, mate. Are you okay? I'm trying not to move, but I'm doing okay. That's lovely mic technique. Yeah, I can even see the little squiggles. So that's good work. Uh, and on my other side is my friend and cousin, Jake Mead. Jake, are you okay? Hi, mate. Yep. All good. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers for having me on. Oh, hey, it's my pleasure. Because we've had you on uh, before in the last month or so, but the episode didn't survive. No, we've we've, had, it before. Not. we've no. had it before where people have been confused and upset. Because I've axed their episodes without telling them. Sometimes just mm. because the, the person was boring. I was pretty yeah. pissed off about that. <laughs> yeah. That was a moment yeah, to break into podcasting. I had I had my thirty seconds of harmonica playing and <laughs> did. I got my hopes yeah. up. But, yeah. yeah, but yeah, I managed to save that clip. Yeah, that, and, uh, yeah. once again, Taylor's sort of sits behind you, so yeah, that's well. really nice. So, boys, uh, today it's just I just want to do a brief sort of catch up, uh, an introduction to the viewer and the listener. To the garage era. So, Kevin, how have you been, mate? It's been uh, a little while since we've recorded. Nice pivot. Nice face pivot. So you must It's really play. hard to well, do. Well done, mate. You're doing I'm really like good. the Mandalorian. Yeah. <laughs> how you doing, mate? How's this everything going? Way. Are you happy? How's the little ones? Yeah, she actually cried when I left, so I nearly didn't come. Oh, right. So she's never done that. That's a rare display yeah, of affection Normally she's you, like, bye! <laughs> before I'm even like halfway out the door. I'll leave then, shall I? Yeah, that's nice. That's sweet. Leo had his first full day in nursery, nine till six. Mm. So by the time we, it was like I bet he, he shattered. He's, yeah, he went straight to sleep really early without kicking off too much even. But he, it's like he didn't recognise who he was. It's like he became institutionalised. Like the nursery was his new home. You know what I mean? And uh, but it was all lovely. Oh, and you're back. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, wasn't you expecting guys. Half was on half days. So she's mm. and she's got her first birthday party with a school friend. She actually has a school friend that she recognises by name. Wow, that's nice. Um, she was a little bit disappointed the other day because her friend came in without glasses. Couldn't understand that. So oh, she's followed eyes, around all, yeah. Where did your eyes go? Yeah. Why, Why did your face change? Why aren't you wearing them? Why haven't right. you got them on? Why aren't you wearing them? <laughs> all right, I see. Her little yeah. autistic brain couldn't handle that. Oh, I see. That's sad. Mm. That's good, but I'm glad that she uh, reached out to you lovingly for a change. Just nice, yes, it's, uh, I'll always take that. <laughs> she's the only kid I know. Like, the other three are like, Daddy, because they want something. That's them in their 20s. Right, they right. They still do that now. Oh, uh, gee, you should know Kev is old. 140. I, I was just about to say... <laughs> His oldest kids daughter is 63. <laughs> 20. Yeah, Kev's got 11 kids and they're all in their 20s. He's actually Gandalf. He's just had a beer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. Gandalf the White starting now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he's got what, 11, 11 odd kids and they're all in their 20s. And I have in, four children. Yeah. Four? Yes. Wow. 23, 21, 19. Mm. Yeah. And three. And three, yeah. So it's just mad. It's 20 year two. gap. Mm. You're like you're like that that you seen that that Jamaican that Jamaican guy where he's uh, <laughs> yes yeah, and that, that that a real bad man yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> twenty three twenty two baby man a real bad man <laughs> that's great that is. that's it I want to watch you're the English of version of that guy <laughs> I want to watch more of it the, the one of the chaps I work with he's got six kids mm. and literally the last one is the one that put his business off ever having children again oh really it took yeah. a boy. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, I mean, my my father is uh, my father is, must set the record for children, as far as I know. I mean, what's he? Eleven, twelve kids? My, my wow. mind's got and, that you know yeah. of. Yeah, yeah, that we know of. Yeah, it could be many more hidden in the shadows. Uh, Jakey, how you doing over there, mate? Yeah, you okay? Good, mate. How's yeah. the band? Good, thank you. Yeah, all good. Because yeah. last time we uh, last time we had you on, you were shamelessly promoting your uh, gig at the barn. Has that come up yet? Yeah, that's actually this coming Saturday. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah, I'll try yeah. and get this out before then. Yeah, so, the eighteenth. Yeah. Um, Ah, so well, yeah, okay. down at the old barn, Banty Rooster. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, do you know? Have you found out whether the name Banty Rooster? No, I was yet? going to, uh, <laughs> but I haven't. <laughs> right, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, but, I like that. Yeah, but what is it? That's what we're trying to figure Why out. We're trying to figure out what yeah. it mean. A bouncy rooster. No, Banty. Ba- the band. The band's called Banty Rooster. Mm. But where that name comes from, I haven't got a clue. That's an age thing again. The bouncy rooster. The, the bouncy roosters. <laughs> <laughs> I think I went to school with the Nazi <laughs> Roosters. Stab you! They were a real hip band back in the day. <laughs> there were some cool cats. <laughs> oh, fuck off, Stephen! 
<laughs> yeah. Well, it's good. How's it all? Get, are you more? Are you comfortable as a band now? Are you, you yeah, we're getting there, there, mate. Getting there. Yeah. Um, we're still looking for a guitarist. We got some. We've had a couple of guys interested, but none really wanted to commit. So, I think we're looking for five of us ideally, and then we'll be sorted. How yeah. do you test for the skill? How do you test to see if they're good enough? You know what I mean? Well, it, yeah, it, it's there's that if if they you know if they're good enough, but also if they're not a bell end. Do you know that has a character thing. So yeah, a lot that of it really is helps. that. To be honest with you, if you're a good bloke and you fancy you know and you you know you're up for coming to practices and gigging and you know your level really doesn't matter too much. Do you know what I mean? We can yeah. you can always you can always practice and get better and you know um, mm. but ideally you know you need to be a half decent bloke really sure, yeah. or a girl you know yeah, open to hey, what man. genre of music hey. 2023 uh, exactly you know what I mean? yeah. Yeah. yeah what genre of music is this for us always it's blues rock covers mm. yeah, yeah, yeah oldie people music I yeah like, yeah like yeah really oldie actually yeah, like, yeah very oldie yeah, yeah. 60s yeah. Mm, mm. Nice. That's free me, well. motherfucker. Before you go, that's yeah. <laughs> you must have been. You must have been in your mm. twenty twenty one prime of life by then. Nineteen seventy nine, the last two months of the seventies. I was born in. It's nineteen seventy nine. That's interesting because I've I purchased, uh, and this is for sort of gaming nerds. I recently purchased an Atari. Is it called a twenty six hundred or seventy six hundred? Twenty six hundred. Uh, from nineteen seventy seven. I've got that now. It's in my front room, and it's beautiful. The so. I believe that is the console that um, had the worst game ever made produced for it. What's that? E.T. Oh, really? So they panicked. E.T., the game. There's a whole documentary about it. Well, about how bad it is. Yeah, so they panicked, rushed through it, produced it in, like, next to no time, and it was so bad and so hard to play that they all got sent back, <clears throat> and I think they buried something like half a million copies. <laughs> And there was there's a whole <laughs> flipping massive documentary about it on Netflix, yeah. I think. And they, the people were digging up because they were like, "We're sure it was buried here." So they go to the landfill trying to find no it. Way. They spent a lot of money <laughs> digging stuff up, and then suddenly you see this guy get excited because bits of controller that you've got, you know, that's just the normal mm-hmm. start appearing. Wow! Holy and then shit. there they are. There's a load of games that they. Just... What was so bad about it? It's terror. It's just crap. It's not very good. To no, it was. Oh, it was seen. done in. Obviously, you've seen it. It's less than eight bit. Yeah. I assume. Yeah. It's pretty. Oh, it's fucking dire. Yeah, but it's at a time. Well, it's Space fucking... Invaders, isn't it? It's that oh, yeah. level of. That's, yeah, yeah. That's it. At a time, it would have blown your fucking head right off. But it's, yeah, uh, because yeah. before that, you had this. Boop. Boop. Pong. Yeah. But even <laughs> yeah, Space that's... Invaders, like, yeah. now I've got the Space Invaders uh, original box and manual in there. Like, it even comes with oh, really? a manual. And it's like, it's really trying to sell it. Like, it's saying, um, uh, invaders from another galaxy are trying to take over the yeah, and, you, and your job is to do da da da. And it's like, yeah, no, it's really shit. Yeah, yeah, it's really like, yeah, but fine. Yeah, 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 but it's really. But, I'm, I'm, but I, I bought it to fix up because I'm now with my soldering. Thing right, above my head. So I'm now into sort of soldering. My, I'm into repairing old consoles. That's my new thing. I fixed up a couple of cartridges. I'm fixing up some Game Boys. Um, I can fix. I can fix anything up to I think about a PS2 at the minute, and which is cool. But I'll get. I'll get it's better. It's crazy though because obviously you've got that. Game Sounds like a Royal Navy advert. Yeah. If you can fix a PS2. If you can fix you a can PS2, fix a, you can save the free world. Yeah. 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 Game Boy if you can fix big. a Game Boy, you can fix a <laughs> t- er, Typhoon. Yeah. So Nintendo's about that big. Super Nintendo's, you know, they're all sizable lumps to do that. Yeah. I've got that stupid thing that I offered you the other day. It's like a retro unit. Oh, yeah. It's literally a giant USB. Mm. We have something like I don't know, 2,500 games on. Yeah, I've seen them. I've seen them. So it's got the Atari yeah. ones and then mm. it's got Game Boy, Game Boy yeah. Color, Game Boy Advance. Yeah. But I wanted the Atari to sell on straight away, to clean it and then sell it on because it's mm. in good condition. Some of them. But now I'm going to, well, I'm thinking now about just sealing it up and putting it away because every year there's going to be fewer and fewer of them. The Space you know I mean? Invaders mm. with the box and the book and all the rest of it. Yeah, stuff yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. It's kind of sad now. You used to get, like, that used to be the big thing that you buy the game mm-hmm. and on the way home in the car, read the book. You were reading the bit. Mate, in, the Pokemon, yeah. but the little Pokemon do you, books are red. Do you ever think about all the Pokemon cards you gave me when we were kids? Because yeah. I often do. There was hundreds of them. Yeah. Including the Charizard Shiny. I seem to remember being swindled out of them, actually. Our memory is a bit different now, but well, yeah. <laughs> God, yeah, this kid's yeah. got some charm. Yeah. I've yeah. been out of the way out. I was going, I've just been fucking bamboozled. Yeah. Where's all my Pokemon cards? <laughs> but I, I think back to that stack that you gave me. I think that. How much money is in there? There's, there's a few quid in there. there. 
But if, since we're on the topic of video games, we might have crossed this before. What's your favorite? What's your all-time favorite video game? I mean, I remember to stay on mic. Yeah, the, the Good probably the best one ever because I was playing it the most when I was a child would have been Super Mario World, of the SNES one. Mm-hmm. But my favorite games are the Horizon Zero Dawn on the PlayStation. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yep. I'm gonna have to like whenever you whatever answer either of you give. I'm going to have to act like I know what it is. Because if it isn't Pokemon or Football Manager, I've got no idea. So uh, I'll go, Horizon, <clears throat> Horizon Zero Dawn. <sighs> yeah. God, that's the one with uh, yeah, it's actually space, isn't it? Two of my favourite games ever, um, which is Tomb Raider and Horizon Zero Dawn, mm-hmm. have a lead which is female. Hey, you play you're, so, you're so progressive. I know, there. right? You are, you are so progressive. Look at me. <laughs> yeah. Feminism <laughs> from the 70s coming forward, baby. Look at that, yeah. Mm. yeah. And what about you, Jake? What's your favourite, uh, all-time favourite game? All, all t- it's tricky. Um, it's got. I think it's. I think it's Red Dead Redemption Two. I think you say that. I've never played it, and people keep. My yeah. mate sent me stuff today, and I thought, why don't I just yeah, buy it? It I looks th- great. I, mm. It is a brilliant game. What's it's so just, good about that? Because actually, it looks cinematic. When yeah, I it's exactly Zelda, that. Yeah, do you play the Zelda games? I certainly do. Yeah. See, they're fun. They're they're literally second in just about everything. The, the mm. Um, I remember you playing Zelda as a kid. All you played was Zelda and Final Fantasy. So you would have like, been I'm, fi- I'm playing time, Final Fantasy 874. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, cool. Yeah. Nice. You yeah. would have been Ocarina cool. of Time then and almost. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I, I like Link to the Past, the mm-hmm. um, Super Nintendo version. That was the first one that made me play it. Final Fantasy, to be fair, I, I have played them all. And they're all, they're all magnificent because they're like fully, especially when I was going through like my stoner era or my just want to be a recluse <coughs> era. Like the Final Fantasy games are perfect for just, just see you in two weeks. You know what I mean? Switch mm. off and play. Yeah. And, uh, I've never understood that. turn-based combat though. I've it's, all... uh, yeah, I know it's not. It's not. <coughs> but then that's that's what Pokemon is. So yeah, it's yeah, part no, of that's my DNA. I've yeah. never played them either. <laughs> oh no, still lost. love the Pokemon games. Yeah, mm. on on the Game Boy and what have you. That yeah. was right. That was obviously. I was not a child at that point. Yeah, no. yeah, it was forty-eight when Pokemon first yeah. came out. Yeah, <laughs> was, yeah, he was, yeah, he was, yeah. Right. But I mean, but that's why like, it's no coincidence that like my new hobby is the skill of like I'm like a Pokemon doctor. The skill of reviving old Pokemon Pro- games. Professor <laughs> Rogue. Prof- yeah, Professor. If that's what you guys want to, Professor Rogue. <laughs> Professor <laughs> Nonce. <laughs> No, no. Oh, oh, Professor Oak's nice. That's a good one. Yeah, no, I'm, you're not I'm having them. I'm afraid I'm going to stick with Professor Nonce or Professor Dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in control of the editing, so no, <laughs> it'll be a chorus of Professor Oak, <laughs> Professor Oak. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's the new Professor Oak. Yeah. Well, all right. Stay nice. away from Professor Oak, Calm kids. Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and since, since, since you asked, I suppose my favourite game is uh, uh, probably uh, Pokemon Crystal. Okay. The Sewer know. scene. Mm, that's it. <clears throat> yeah, and which that now that cartridge is now worth like nearly two hundred quid. Really? Dead, like an original cartridge. Yeah, but they're, they're like the sort of see-through ones, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're lush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. great game yeah. actually. Game yeah. Boy Color. Game Boy Color. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and it's lovely, and it's the best of all the Pokemon games that, to this day. Probably Crystal is still the best of all. Of them. That, that makes that one better because surely they're very similar. Well, Pokemon Red was excellent, and it all happened on a certain island called Kanto. And Crystal is one of the only games where you've got a whole new map that you start with, and then you can revisit Kanto and then play all that again. So it was twice as big as the, any Pokemon oh, okay. game before it. But you couldn't do that on um, <clears throat> Silver or Gold. That was the same sort of era, wasn't it? Yeah, that, yeah. That you could, you could go. You still got Kanto and stuff in Silver and Gold. Oh, but right, okay. Crystal had um, all of the Pokemon. It had all of the. It was just like all of them in one. You know what I mean? It was really and like yeah. it's just you can play it now and it's great. You know what I mean? And that's, that's fucking twenty. 25 years old maybe yeah. now so yeah. Crazy. so yeah so yeah po- um, Pokemon or Football Manager to be fair I fucking love Football Manager my yeah. brother was just because at the time he played for Yeovil under 18s mm. and Yeovil had just got into the second or first division so they were on the game mm-hmm. it might have been when they actually got to the Football League the first time and some of his mates had played for the reserves Oh, right. So they were on it, and he was not. Oh, he was livid. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> jealous. Yeah. yeah. Because that's what you cool do. Though. You took Yeovil yeah. Town to, to, mm. to literally UEFA fucking Yeah, that's it. Finals or but but I always renamed the characters like Alan Shearer, James Beatty. So like, you felt like you were... All my centre mids were Frank Lampard, Stephen Gerrard. So you always felt like you were... Yeah. Well, do, I've, do you know what? I've played literally every single FIFA from about... 2002, I reckon. Mm. Um, literally, before I came here, I was playing 
EA FC now, 23. What is, what's that? They changed the name. What did they change the name of FIFA? I don't know. I think... Yeah. Um, Licensing rights, yeah, yeah. 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 But it it just gets worse every year. Like the AI, it just oh, really? gets it's just dreadful. It's like you can honestly, like I just do a lot of career mode, which isn't cool. So they pump all their money into like the ultimate team. Hmm. But that's the one you get the cards for. Yeah, right? that's it. I've never got into it. I find it boring. No. But so I just do career mode, whatever. And but the actual AI, the computer. It's like it's just so predictable. You just know what their score is going to be at the end of the game, just right, because I see. it just. Yeah. Go, I don't know. It's, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm with you. That, yeah, yeah. It's just crap. But that's why, like, Football Manager was was always a sort of um, was always a rogue element because the AI wasn't very good and that it wasn't very predictable. So you could have a an obviously ruthless team of killers, yeah. and then you go. I'm going to go on holiday for a month and let the game just do its own thing. So you skip part for a season and you've been fucking wrecked the whole month and you've gone, Jesus oh, no. Christ, that's a $2 billion team I've got there. Oh, okay. So uh, but Football Manager was just, that's one of the great games because you could, yeah. but I, I, I deliberately don't have Football Manager anywhere. For that it, reason. Cons- yeah, because it consumes all my, my time. My brother mm. obviously used to, he'd be playing and you'd know when he'd lost a game that he wasn't supposed to, because obviously you just watch it on fast forward, don't you? It's a blah, 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 blah. That's it, yeah. That's right, that, and that it, added to the bu- 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 yeah. bumps. <laughs> and then every so now, because you, you, it was an old tower, mm. PC at the time, this was in 98, yeah. you'd suddenly hear, <laughs> where he'd just gone, fuck you, and oh. hit the off button. Because <laughs> oh, it, yeah. it doesn't save it, and then that's he'd be it. like, and however far back before he'd recently save it, was he'd start again from yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I used to do too. Yeah. But yeah, you can reset it on the And phones. then he'd be like, well, the computer doesn't work, mum. I remember coming of age when... The household only had one computer. Web, oh, webcam yeah. on MSN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you'd, you'd be at school all day, uh, and uh, yeah, <clears> you'd be, you wouldn't you wouldn't say a word to the girls. But as soon as like you get on MSN, it's like, hey babes, oh, yeah, oh, hey babes, <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, yeah. babes? Yeah, you look it. good yeah. today, babes. But Gosh. I wouldn't I wouldn't have said a word to them at school. Yeah. You know? yeah. And the, the next day, I would just ignore them. <laughs> yeah, you both walked on by. Heads like, down, don't heads even down. acknowledge each <laughs> exactly, other. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. After you told her she's the greatest thing since yeah, sliced bread the night before. Yeah. Good night, baby. Bby. <laughs> yeah, lucky oh, for me, I time. was too old for that bit. I missed the mic. Well, this is, I'm going to tell you a sad tale of one of my, because f- I went for a stage of being desperately unpopular because I was big and fat, and I was just, I was, this is like hey. the age I was, but I was like not cool with it. Was this yesterday? Or? This, is, this is in the last sort of month and a half. Yes, you're I'm describing really the 2020 yeah, 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 yeah. so for the ringer right now, guys. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. There was a time, I mean, it's yeah. not anymore. <laughs> I'm not talking about now, guys. All right, I am the Steve Kayless of the Steve Kayless show. This is pre-athlete me, oh, okay. and uh, yeah. so, so and I I made friends online. I had one friend really, and this about a year. Or, well, actually, I went for a stage where I fell out with uh, a popular kid at school, which we'll talk about later on. And then I become totally ostracised. And my only friend was a girl online on AOL chat rooms called Lara Jupp. And she and I, up until maybe I moved out of mum's house initially when I was maybe uh, 15, 16, we talked for about five or six years all the time. Nothing naughty, just friendly, get to know each other. Then she got married, and then we we moved house and changed internet connector. And I've never been able to find Lara Jupp since. I haven't been able to find her on Facebook, Facebook. on Instagram. Like, oh. Lara Jupp doesn't exist. Lara. And I Lara love to... Oh, she's not Lara Jupp because she got married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Down. Exactly. Lara so, Jupp was Larry Jupengus. Yeah. <laughs> and he sat in his lorry. <laughs> He was Fuck me off yeah. with school, you yeah. dick. Yeah. How you been, Stephen? <laughs> what, was his, what was his name? <laughs> Larry Jupengus, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, rolls off the tongue that it was, one. Yeah. <laughs> Real easy. It was yeah. Larry Jupengus was his name. Yeah, Larry touches kids. Oh. Folks. Grooming children was his game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> on AOL oh, chat, he knew there would be some young boys on there. Yeah. Ostracized young boys. Yeah, like fucking, <laughs> he saw this, you coming. This is Larry Jupengus all over. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we get assaulted <laughs> once a week, every week. <sighs> You right. still are a fucking knight in fucking shining armour, aren't you? Ride in to defend yeah. some Doris. You oh, don't the good even Samaritan. No, I guess so. Yeah, Steve yeah. Kalis, the good Samaritan. Yeah. We have a particular. <laughs> After what fucking Larry Jupendus did to yeah. you, uh, kid. I must defend the kids. It's Jupengus, okay? Jupengus. Jupengus is Jupendus. I want to make sure that what Larry Jupengus did to me never happens again. <laughs> some always on the lookout to defend the young there, ones. There'll be something happen in one of our groups, and everyone's like, oh, fuck. Oh, I see what you're getting at. Yeah. Right. And then I'm in not jumps afraid. Stephen, like, I'm, no! Yeah. yeah. No I'm, one shall. <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm yeah. not afraid. 
because of that I'm part of that experience, afraid. I am not afraid yeah. to totally ostracise myself mm. if uh, I think nine times I'm out of ten he's right having thing. a shit day he doesn't want to talk to anyone yeah. so, <laughs> when you, so to make sure he's like right fuck yes. you lot That's part she's it, a yeah. saint fuck you all yeah you'll notice that, then, uh, that the height of that the height of my vigilantism was when I just have to quit that's what, that's what yeah. happens when you when you base your whole personality on Marvel yeah, but yeah, 100%. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, yeah. Captain America, like, that's it. Yeah. 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 yeah, but it is. And if you quit smoking and move house all in one week, it can that make you a little bit of a yeah, testy that's prick. more like, yeah, it turned into sort of um, like a Marvel villain. Or yeah. Sort of yeah. More like it was Red his, Skull. It, we were getting towards yeah. origin story moments where we're going to come in and find him with a hood on his head listening yeah. to the Empire uh, March or something. Yeah, I was going to like proper like steering into the villain. Doctor... Dr. Octodrapengus or whatever his name is. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Dr. Octodrapengus. That's Dr. a lot worse things than Dr. Drapengus. <laughs> yeah. Eight times, in Eight fact. times more. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, but actually, Jay, that, 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 you know, that cruel dig was actually correct. My <laughs> did, but I built my whole personality off uh, Captain America and Channel yeah, Bing, well. essentially. That's what, yeah. I'm yeah, glad that, you, I'm right. glad. They, glad they were not good bedfellows. Thanks for coming, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> R.O.P. Channel. Yeah, you, you, you took, two beds that were really far apart to lay in. I did, yeah, yeah. I did. And it made for a very confused young man, Kevin. I'm not surprised. <laughs> still, yeah. but, you uh, had neither the physique for Captain America or quite the humour. Or the, the personality for Chandler no. Bing. So I'm like a, a fat, morphous way. blob of the two of them. <laughs> Just stretch <laughs> way too far there. It's sort of like... You, you, <laughs> you sort of hit Ant-Man. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah sort of of you should have been American, Steve. That's Paul, kind of yeah. like your personality. Oh, uh, do you know what? I've You'd be hilarious said, as an American. Yeah. If, I was, if you had an American accent. If I was Scottish or American... No, no. No, 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 no. You're not funny enough to be Scottish. None of us are. <laughs> what do you think about that, Kevin? <laughs> it's not the accent, mate. Scottish people are genuinely fucking yeah, mental. Yeah, mine's exactly the same. I've got the exact same humour. It's just I'm doing it with yeah. a sort of poncy You would be accent. hilarious <laughs> really, as a Yank because you'd be funnier than that. Do it, do it. Okay. Oh, what, what, act, do, what, do a Californian, yeah. California. That's California. It's ca- it's kind of, you can kind of get like, Scottish out of that. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you're sort of good video. Glasgow. I'm a and then yeah. versatile actor. I can do a Scottish or a like. That's Ewan McGregor. Like, That's literally Ewan yeah, McGregor. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. he there cannot do a Dalek. I can't, I don't want to get, I, I, this is really pissing me off, this. Because I can do That's a Dalek. That's why I right? keep doing it. Really? Oh, okay. you, what, what, does a Dalek, what does a Dalek sound like to you? Can you do a Dalek in Britain? It's hard to think because we could all do it as kids. Wait, wait now yeah, as an adult, Jake was I've been smoking well, and drinking. I was in the, the I was in my zone there. Right in the cut. Right. Go on, then. Right, Dalek. Um, you had you had better exterminate. No. <laughs> it's gone back to the red skull. Jesus, yeah, yeah. That's you, Hans Dalek. You had better ex- exterminate <laughs> me. You've, that, never, that, you've never seen Doctor Who. Have you? <laughs> was that not? Was that not? It? <laughs> no, no. You don't know what Dalek is. Do was that, that not? Was that not? No. It? no. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's, sorry, that wind. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. No, oh, I have yeah. a life. Have not seen Doctor Who. All right. <laughs> but, but I appreciate. The, I appreciate you really having a stab. You in. don't have to whip anything out. I'm going that. to exterminate you, bastard. <laughs> Was that that's it? Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah. Sure. Oh, See you, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking exterminate you, you <laughs> prick. <laughs> yeah, that's very good, Jake. You're very good. Uh, Dalek from Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a California one. Yeah. Dalek. Dalek. Uh, I'm a Dalek. I'm going to exterminate the fucking doctor. Um... <laughs> Oh California. my god, like, do you there know, you it's like, oh, it's crazy that you'd think that I can <laughs> drift in and out of the two accents. Yeah, because you can't stop doing the Scottish stuff. Nah, I'm yeah. stuck here now. <laughs> I like to, my, my best, my, the, the, an impression I can do, because Kev's been attacking my impression game recently, and up until the very last episode we recorded, I would have sworn that I was one of the great impressionists of our generation. But I'm really starting well, to question I, I, well, I like to I'm a good impressionist, actually. But as a child, mm. I was, I'm sure you were, mm. as a Heavy smoking, drinking, coughing a doll. Oh, I, see, I, see. I have lost somewhat the ability to do things I used to do quite comfortably. But Jake mm. and I can do a. Um, you for Junior Doubt Fade, dear. You for Junior Doubt Fade, dear. Help us the way, I'm a hip old granny. Hip hop, beep pop. <laughs> oh, sir, I saw the young bastards, they ran off that way. <laughs> That's really good. Hello! <laughs> Yeah, very good. That's really good. And that, that film, and I've, I've, I bring it up every time it comes up, but that film has, and I, and I always stand by this, it's what the greatest joke ever told in cinema. In <laughs> film. And you know, do you know what I'm are you, about? Are you Matt Guinness truck? Yeah. It's yeah, brilliant. Yeah. It's, it's actually the best joke ever yeah. written for yeah, a movie. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Where he goes, um, Mr. Alfie goes, uh, 
oh, uh, says that my husband, uh, it was a drink that killed him. And, she, and the other woman goes, he was an alcoholic. And she goes, no, he was hit by a Guinness truck. <laughs> Every time. I have not watched that film in years. Oh, it's made, it just gets better. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Because now we're, now we're adults watching it, that we get all the other jokes yeah. that didn't get left on. I right. literally was sat getting my tattoo the other day and they had it on, literally on the screen in front of me, and I was there quoting it. And the guy tattooing me was like, the fuck is this weirdo? <laughs> As you get your skull and yeah. the Grim Reaper tattoo. Yeah, on literally, you. yeah. Help us the weird dudes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that's, listen, this we've actually recorded much longer than I thought we would. So uh, I want to just we can probably wrap it up here if you're yeah, happy. Unless you got anything you want to uh, attack. Or yeah, I want to watch you listen to five minutes of it so that I know you're not going to bother me for the rest of the evening with your crazy. Oh, okay, okay, we can do that. Well, let's wrap up sensibly. And if you uh, if you've watched or listened to this episode and you've enjoyed it, then please consider clicking the follow button or subscribe on Spotify or wherever you listen to this. That sort of thing really helps. What we're trying to do is take this mess uh, and scale the podcast mountain, and uh, we can only do that with your help. Are you going to incorporate it? Sorry? Yes. Oh, and uh, yeah, and remember, oh, we didn't rec- release the last episode, didn't we? So they don't know no, that. No, they do not um, know. So we were trying to find a new, I've also got, I've got a radio show, Radio Nine Springs, uh, my own radio show, and we want to do a new intro, because at the minute, Kevin hates my, I start the my radio show by going, yes, I'm Steve Kalis, welcome to Radio Nine Springs, and Kev thinks that's not very good. It's Jeremy so, fucking Clarkson. So if yes. You can, if you, yes. Yes, I'm Steve Kalis. A little bit. So if you can think of a, a, a better way to do it, I doubt it. I got one for you. Go on. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you got to practice your Mrs. Doubtfire. You got to practice Mrs. Doubtfire face. Shit. If you don't, if you get fired, you've got to squeeze that in once before Christmas. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, yeah, actually, yeah. Radio One did that for a little while. You, they did that. Yeah, Aww. Scott Mills did the. He used to. Uh, yeah, that's where I got that from. Actually, mm. yeah. he used to open up his sh- show with the Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello. Oh, no, I see. Oh, we yeah. don't want their fucking cast offs, mate. We're a, we're a whole new yeah. entity. You know what I mean? We're we're making we're moving mountains mm. over here. According to you, there's nothing about me that's new. Well, this it's old me. I'm the new for you. Uh, this is uh, this has been a, a real pleasure uh, talking to you both. And you, listener, uh, appreciate it. Like I said, please go to Spotify, click follow, subscribe, do all that stuff for us. Leave us a five star review. Kevin, uh, have you enjoyed today? I have. I got a stiff neck. Yeah, I bet you have. You've done very well. Very <laughs> I know, right? Well I done, want mate. some sort of reward for yeah, this. Yeah, I do appreciate it. And Jake, have you enjoyed your time back with us on the TV? I station? have, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure if I want this one to wear, but if it does, thank you for having me on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have enjoyed it thoroughly. <laughs> Can you, like, because I missed out on the, the, the harmonica solo, so. Put your harmonica with you? Oh, I don't know. Let me, uh... Oh, my oh, God. Whoa, have you really? What are the chances of that? Can you believe that? Wow. wow. Well, then to, to play us out, yeah. Jake Meaden. Last of the summer wine. Jake Meaden <laughs> of the Bouncy Roosters. <laughs> <laughs> the Bouncy <laughs> Hey, such a dick. <laughs> All right, a little bit of The River by Bruce Springsteen. How about that? Nice. Should we try that? Mm-hmm. I don't know what the song was, but no. beautiful. Yeah. Well done, Jake. Yeah. Oh, Thank wow. you. Uh, hi, everyone.